my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel Which Way to Wicked where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be doing such a gossip filled reading today as we find out what it is that your boss wants to say to you but they keep it to themselves. So, if you want to know all about your boss's secret thoughts, the things they want to say to you, then this is going to be the reading for you today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks. So for group number one, we have this rose scented hand cream. For group number two, with, we have this Happy Birthday Body Lotion. And guys, this is one of my favorite lotions from Bath & Body Works. This is not sponsored, by the way. It just, when I put it on, I smell like a birthday cake. And ah, it's amazing. So for group number three, we have this Lemon Scented Hand Cream as well. Now guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about your boss. And I want you to think about what they want to tell you, but they decide to keep it to themselves. So what thoughts go through their mind when they see you, when they talk to you? What do they wish they could say to you? So, whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever lotion your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one lotion here, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends. Hello, group one! So, if you felt called to this gorgeous smelling rose-scented hand cream, then hey, hello, my lovely little flowers, and welcome to this reading today. So, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side like so, and let's start shuffling through your cards now as always your girl's got a plug in her channel <laughs> so if you feel like you like my energy if you like my vibe then please make sure to give this video a big like and maybe even consider subscribing to my channel because I post videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you hang out with me so let's go ahead and take a look at your messages. So Spirit, can we tap into group one's boss's energy? Can we tap into their thoughts? What do they want to say to my group one folks, but they keep it to themselves? So all of a sudden I'm hearing canary. So a canary is a bird. Whenever I think of a bird, of a canary, they always have like a really pretty like whistling type of, would you say voice? I don't know, but they whistle and it's really cute. It's really sweet. So I don't know, maybe you whistle a lot and maybe your boss thinks it's really cute. Maybe they like hearing you whistle. Maybe you just whistle a lot and you don't, maybe you don't even realize it. I myself, I am a weird whistler. Like... I have this weird habit of whistling at times when you should not be whistling and I think it's kind of weird but some people might find it to be cute. I don't know <laughs> but that could be something that you do or maybe you just whistle whenever you're like walking to the bathroom or doing something like that. So your boss could be wanting to tell you that they like it. They like to hear you whistle. Um, this could also be that maybe they like the sound of your voice. It might you might just have a very nice voice and that's something that they really like and yeah obviously maybe they feel weird telling you like hey I'm your boss did I tell you that I like the sound of your voice like it just sounds a little sounds a little weird might sound a little creepy like you're crossing a bit of a line so that could definitely be coming through as well maybe you like to sing and so maybe you sing around the office or wherever it is you work and your boss really likes your singing voice as well but they just keep it to themselves so Let's see what else wants to 
come through here. Yeah, look, for the back of the deck energy, we have the magician. That's really cute. I really like that. Your boss really does see you in a very, very beautiful light because the magician, this talks about someone who has the potential to do so many things. This is someone who is honestly just very magical. And so I think some of, some of the things that your boss wants to say to you, but just decides to keep to themselves is the fact that they see that you have so much potential to do so much within your job, within your life. Your boss sees you as someone who, again, is just a very magical person. I think that they see you as someone who is a great manifester. You are just very talented. Whether you realize it or not, you're very, very talented and your boss sees that. They want to say that to you, but for some reason they haven't yet. I don't know why, but that is definitely something they want to say to you, that they want to bring to your attention. So yeah, that's very beautiful to see. Let's see what else is coming through here. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. The Two of Swords talks about feeling like you have some type of choice to make. This talks about feeling kind of indecisive. And so I feel like we're picking up more on your boss's energy here. So your boss could be feeling very indecisive, which again makes a lot of sense because this is about like what your boss wants to say to you, but for some reason they decide to keep it to themselves. So there could be a lot of things that they want to say to you and they're trying to decide if they should say these things to you, if it's appropriate if they tell you these things and so on and so forth. So I do see them trying to like figure out like should I say this, should I not? And what I love about this is that we were talking about how you sound like, like we were getting that like canary, that bird type of vibe coming through, right? And literally right here on top of this little like wooden, this tree-like hat that this person's wearing, there are two little birds right there. So again, there's something coming through with birds. Maybe you just like birds a lot. Maybe you talk about birds. I don't know, but there's something here that has to do with birds that your boss wants to bring to your attention okay so again you could just have a really pretty voice maybe you whistle a lot and your boss likes hearing you whistle and they want to say something to you about it maybe you again like birds maybe your boss likes birds as well and so they want to try to talk to you more about birds maybe they like to bird watch but again they may feel like it's a little inappropriate for them to try to come up to you and talk to you about this because that's more of like a friend thing right like friends would come together and talk with each other about things that they like not necessarily your boss and you does that make sense so maybe your boss feels like they are crossing some type of professional line by coming up to you and saying like hey i love birds too let's go for like a like a lunch a business lunch and talk about birds <laughs> but yeah so your boss at the end of the day like they're feeling quite quite just indecisive very indecisive here we also have the Emperor ooh okay so that talks about Aries energy so you could be an Aries or your boss could be an Aries Sun Moon rising or in Venus I do think I want to go ahead and just look at the last card here with the Wheel of Fortune okay that's very it's very interesting Okay, so I think this is kind of connecting with what we were seeing here with the magician. Again, your boss sees you as someone who has a lot of talent. You have a lot of potential. And the Aries, excuse me, the Emperor card, this talks about being the head honcho. This talks about being almost like a manager or just having some type of higher position where you are controlling the masses. You are the one that is leading everyone. You're setting the example. You're telling people what to do. You're the heir of authority. And I think that your boss sees you as someone who could potentially become a boss as well. They see you as someone who has like manager-like qualities. And so maybe... <sighs> I'm getting a couple messages coming through. Okay, I'm getting a couple messages coming through. So, your boss, they could be wanting to approach you and tell you 
how much potential you have and tell you that they're interested in promoting you. So they could definitely be interested in that. They could be wanting to make you a manager or give you some type of higher lead role, give you a raise, a promotion so that you can take on this leadership type of role within the company. Or, or there is this other energy coming through where maybe they're afraid of telling you how good you are. They're afraid of telling you how how you have the capability to do so much within this career because maybe they're afraid that if they tell you these things that you might try to eventually climb up the ladder and get their position out from under them. So there is that energy coming through. Definitely take it as it resonates. I think for most of you guys, this is more so talking about how, um, th this is more so going on the positive side of things, okay? I think that they see you as someone who they want to give a promotion to, but for some reason, maybe they're just trying to figure out when's the right time to say that to you, or maybe they're waiting for you to have a bit more experience before they offer you this position. Or, again, for a few of you guys, it could be more on the negative side, where they just don't want to let you in on how how talented you are because they're afraid that you might eventually try to take their own position out from under them, okay? So just keep that in mind. I feel like who's ever watching this, um, you guys will know where your boss kind of falls under, like what category they are in. Does that make sense? Um, now, last but not least, we have the Wheel of Fortune coming through. And yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, this talks about the wheel of your fortune changing and usually this is a more positive connotation this is a more positive change and so i think that again your boss they just see you as someone who has a lot of potential they see you as someone who has a really bright future ahead of you you have a really just great you have a really great opportunity that is going to come your way. They, they feel like you're just someone who you are so intelligent, you're so talented that no matter what, opportunities are going to come your way because you work hard enough to receive those opportunities. And so at the end of the day, I think that they do want to tell you that they see you as someone who is going to be very successful. They want to tell you how talented you are. They want to let you in on how incredible you are. And maybe they also just want to tell you that you have a really nice voice or that they like it when you whistle. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. They want to tell you these things, but for some reason they're keeping it to themselves, okay? And again, maybe they're just waiting for the right opportunity. They could just be waiting for you to have more experience before they say something to you about how they see you as someone who's really talented and as someone who is deserving of a new promotion or whatnot. So yeah, again, I think like at least 80% of you guys, that is going to be the message that is for you okay the more positive message i think for about 80 percent of you guys your boss wants to give you a promotion but maybe they're just waiting for the right time to talk to you about it okay now let's see what else wants to come through what else wants to come through okay so these two cards are like stuck together so i think i'm just gonna put that back in for group one spirit, can we get just one card, please? No cards stuck together. There we go. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. What was I saying? I was saying how they see you as someone who is magical with the magician card coming through. You are magical, and we literally have child magical coming through. Guys, you can't make that up. Child magical. And it says, seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. Okay, so I definitely think your boss, not only do they see the potential in you, not only do they see you as someone who could do absolutely anything, if you want to do that, um, they also just see you as someone who has a personality that is so magical. You have this personality where you just 
always see the brighter side of every single situation. You're always just so positive, so optimistic, so faithful. And I think that they really, really love that, that perspective that you have. They think that that is so incredible. And again, for some reason, they choose to keep it to themselves. Again, it could just be the fact that they don't want to creep you out or something by mentioning that. So yeah, they just really like your personality. They really like the perspective that you have on life. They, look, they like how you look at the world with those beautiful rose-colored glasses. Okay. Oh, that's really cute. We have mushrooms coming through. That, again, just makes me think of, like, this, like, fairy aesthetic. Because I don't know if you can see it, but this girl has fairy wings. So I think this is, again, just talking about how you're like a mushroom in the way that you're like a fairy. Okay? You just have this fairy-like quality about you. Last but not least, we have purification coming through. Guys, by the way, uh, there is a bit of yard work going on outside my house, so if you hear like a lawnmower or anything like that, I do apologize. But we have purification coming through, and that just makes me think about how, again, you have a very pure soul. You have a very, very pure heart. You always are just so I think that your boss sees you as someone who's very kind and very loving and compassionate to everyone and they really like that they love how you treat everyone so kind they like how you talk to y'all's co-workers they find that to be absolutely amazing you're just a joy to work to work with and that is something that your boss wishes to tell you and whenever I think of mushrooms this makes me think of like expecting the unexpected okay because mushrooms they can kind of grow almost anywhere okay they pop up almost anywhere and they're always unexpected and so I think that you were someone who was an unexpected surprise an unexpected blessing I think that your boss wants to tell you that whenever you started working for them whenever you decided to interview for them for their company that they were so happy to have you you were never expected they never expected to have such a great employee like you and yet they have you and you're just an unexpected blessing and that is definitely something that they would want to tell you but they decide to keep to themselves so yes you guys that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terra Tube again sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day friends Mwah. bye guys hello group two so if you felt called to this happy birthday bath and body works lotion that literally smells like a birthday cake, <laughs> then hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to my side of Terra Tube. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so. And let's start shuffling through your cards. And guys, I do have to go ahead and just plug in my channel. If you are new here, then hey, hi, I'm Cameron. I'm so happy that you decided to stop by and hang out with me. And if at any point during this reading, you decide that you like my energy, if you like my vibes, then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So let's go ahead and step into your boss's energy. So Spirit for Group 2, can we step into, bo into their boss's energy? What do they want to tell them but they decide to keep to themselves, Spirit? What are their thoughts about Group 2? Their boss, Spirit. What is their boss's thoughts? about group two spirit. Can we get some messages, please? So I'm hearing the word unicorn. That is like what came to my mind right away. And so your boss may just see you as someone who is very, very unique. Because unicorns, obviously, those are rare creatures. They are not seen everywhere. <laughs> they're, they're like extinct type of mythical creatures, right? And so anyways, going off of that, I think that your boss, they see you as someone who is very rare, very magical. You are a freaking unicorn, babe. That's what they want to tell you. You're a unicorn. And so 
that's really awesome to see. Who doesn't want to be a unicorn? I would love for someone to want to tell me that I'm like a unicorn, that I'm that special, that unique. So yeah, you really stand apart from everyone else. You really stand apart in your boss's mind from everyone else. So that's really awesome to see. Now, taking a look at your back of the deck energy, we have the two of pentacles coming through. And that talks about being able to remain very graceful, even under a lot of pressure, even under a lot of insurmountable odds. This talks about being able to find your equilibrium, even whenever your world is tilted at an axis. axis. And so I think that your boss, they would want to tell you that they love the way that you are able to always handle yourself so beautifully even whenever you are going through a bit of a time pinch or you're going through some harder times or stressful times at work you are always able to keep your cool cool you're always able to handle things so incredibly well and they really do appreciate that side about you they just see you as someone who is very very level-headed and very balanced overall and they really like being able to work with you they just want to tell you that you are a pleasure to work with you are a pleasure to work with and I absolutely love that now we also have the seven of swords coming through we have the Three of Cups. And last but not least, we have the Death. So this is kind of funny. This is kind of funny because whenever I was thinking about how you were a unicorn, for I was thinking in my mind how it's almost like they would want to steal you away because you are this special unicorn. Does that make sense? There are a lot of people that like to go and, um, you know, hunt down these types of animals or anything like creatures that are going extinct and they want to have it for themselves okay now I'm not condoning that by any means but there are a lot of people that like to do those things because they find it to be absolutely incredible that they're able to possess a animal or something that is becoming more ex extinct whether it be again an animal or a plant or you know a mythical creature or whatnot so I'm kind of thinking about how with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like your boss wants to steal you away. And what I think I'm getting is that they don't want you to go anywhere else. I think that maybe they're afraid of you one day deciding to work somewhere else or maybe deciding to work for yourself or just doing something different and they don't want that to happen. They want you where they want you. They want you here at the job because again they feel like you handle yourself so well they feel like you work really hard and that again you're a pleasure to work with and so it's I'm just getting this idea that they want to tell you they would want to tell you that they want you to stay here they want you to be their employee they don't want you to go anywhere else they just want to steal you away and make you stay here forever okay they want to tie you to the desk or tie you to wherever it is you work at right you can't go anywhere else so that's kind of funny now what's also cute is that we have the three of cups coming through and this talks about talking to a lot of people and being able to just charm people and be someone that people like to hang out with because again you're charming you're cool you're fun and so I think that that is also something that you bring to your job I think that your whole vibe is fun it's warm and so I think that your boss would, would want to tell you how they love how on one hand you can keep your cool you can be very calm very collected but at the same time you can also be very sociable as well you are someone who is very personable and people genuinely enjoy being around you and so they just like whenever you are here whenever you are at work because it's almost like you change the whole vibe I think that you make everyone at the job more happier you make everyone just feel better and when whenever people are happier they're more productive they're able to work more they're able to perform better and so your boss just really wants to tell you how they love again just having you here they love having you here they feel like you really 
change the whole vibe, the whole atmosphere, and they just love that about you. And there's also this energy of like some type of jealousy here. I think sometimes your boss gets jealous of you talking to other people at the job. And it's not necessarily because they're thinking like, oh, they're talking, they're fooling around, they're not working. No, they get jealous because of the fact that they wish that they could be talking to you. So I don't know if your boss has any types of has any type of romantic feelings for you this could honestly just be that they like you as a friend they genuinely enjoy talking to you and so they do get a little jealous whenever they see you talking to other people because maybe they just wish that they could be talking to you that they could be hanging out with you but again they are in that position of being your boss and so they might also just be afraid of telling you that they want to hang out with you that they want to talk to you because they're afraid of being seen as creepy or as them like uh, walking through some type of professional line they're afraid of being seen as doing something inappropriate. So yeah, that is definitely something that's coming through. They could just really want to tell you that they wish that, that they could talk to you as much as you talk to everyone else. So again, there could be a bit of a romantic element coming through. They may be attracted to you and like you romantically, but just take that with a grain of salt because they could also just like to hang out with you in general. They could just like you as a person and so they like talking to you and they hate that they can't talk to you as much as everyone else can. Now last but not least we have the death card coming through and the death is synonymous with Scorpio energy so you could be a Scorpio, your boss could be a Scorpio. I'm more so picking up on you. You could have that somewhere within your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus but Whenever I see Scorpios, this makes me think about people who are very sociable, very charming. Um, for instance, what's his name is a Scorpio. He's married to Blake Lively. Shoot, what's his name? Ah, that's going to bother me. And I don't have my phone. My phone's over there. But just look up the guy who's married to Blake Lively. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Ryan Reynolds has such an amazing personality such an amazing personality everyone likes him everyone likes uh talking to him if you don't know who ryan reynolds is he's the guy who plays deadpool he's the main guy on deadpool and so yeah he's very funny very charming he's like one one of the most likable actors in hollywood and so yeah i feel like that is just picking up on your energy that's how your boss sees you they see you as someone who's very funny very charming very likable and you're probably the most likable person in the office <laughs> they enjoy you the most they enjoy being around you the most and so yeah they wish that they could tell you that but again they just decide to keep it to themselves because maybe they don't want to be creepy now let's go ahead and move on and take a look at your oracle cards by the way someone just started mowing their lawn outside and if you can hear that i do apologize but just let it go let it flow and let's keep doing this reading okay so for group two spirit for group two what does their boss want to tell them but they decide to keep it to themselves okay Let's get one more card. One more card for group three. For group three spirit. What does their boss want to tell them? But they keep it to themselves. Okay. Wow, this is actually very interesting. So first of all, we have loss. We have noose. Excuse me. We have child eternal. And it says, determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. And then we have endurance. So guys, this is honestly really interesting because we have the death card coming through, right? And then alongside the death card, we have loss. And then we have noose. And whenever I think of someone getting the noose, I think of someone passing away. And so honestly, for some of you guys, you may have recently gone through some type of loss. Maybe you had a death in the family or maybe you lost just something else because death doesn't always talk about a death in the family. It could talk about the death of a job, the death of a type of attitude, the death of a relationship. Yeah, there's so many different different things that that could talk about. It could talk about the death of a home. Maybe there's some type of 
moving situation here. But yeah, I definitely think that for a lot of you guys, you have gone through some type of death within your life. Again, this could talk about a family member, someone who you know has passed away recently, or this could talk about um, the death of a relationship. This can talk about anything, okay? But I think that your boss sees you as someone who has been going through kind of a rough patch, but they love how you, like instead of you allowing this horrible transition within your life this this death within your life to cause you to just want to give up on life and to throw in the towel and to just go to work with like a negative attitude they love how you are always able to find that beautiful balance they love that they love how you are able to come into work and still be someone that works really hard you are someone who comes in with a with a smile on your face and yeah you may be going through a hard time but you're able to juggle with it and you're still able to come in with the pep in your step and so yeah your boss they just want to tell you that they love your endurance they love your endurance they love how no matter what gets thrown your way no matter what harder circumstances you have to face you still are able to push through it and keep on going and you're able to do it with a with this like child eternal type of energy because again it says here determination to remain young and body mind and spirit and an ability to see things with fresh eyes so yeah you may have been going through a really hard time in your life but you're not letting the situation take hold of you. You're still able to look at the world with a pair of fresh eyes. You're able to remain positive and see the brighter side of things. And your boss really loves that. They're inspired by that. And that's definitely something that they would love to tell you. They want to tell you how much they admire your ability to always get the job done, to always keep working, keep trying, and to always be able to see life with a bit of a positive uh positive perspective they like that so yes you guys that is what i'm seeing for you today i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because i post new videos every monday and every friday and i would love to have you stop by this side of tarot tube again sometime okay so i love you all so much and i hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day friends mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you felt called to this lemon hand cream today, then hey, hello. How are you? And welcome to the side of Terra Tube. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so. And let's take a look at your tarot cards. Let's start shuffling this beautiful deck. And by the way, I do just have to go ahead and plug in my channel. If you are new here today, then hey, hello, my name is Cameron and welcome to my side of terror too. <laughs> now guys, if you do happen to like my vibe, if you like my energy, then please make sure to give this video a big like and to subscribe because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you come by again sometime and just hang out with me, okay? But let's go ahead and get into your boss's energy. Spirit, can you help me con connect me to group three's boss? What do they say? What do they want to say to them but they decide to keep it to themselves are you on your phone a lot at work <laughs> I don't know if that is oh wow I don't know if that's something that you do but I was hearing phone and so I don't know you might be on your phone a lot and maybe that sometimes annoys your boss <laughs> so that could be something that they want to say to you like hey put your phone down put your phone away <laughs> but maybe they don't want to be like a pain in your butt or they don't want to be rude so they just decide to keep it to themselves or whatnot but yeah I just heard phone I heard phone and so yeah they can <laughs> Maybe you're on your phone a little bit too much at work. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what else is coming through here. We have a seven of wands. Okay, that makes sense as to why they don't want to tell you about you being on your phone because whenever I think of the seven of wands this makes me think about fire signs baby so you could be a fire sign some in rising or in Venus so I am talking about Leo Sagittarius and Aries okay um so yeah you could be one of those signs but tapping into that energy 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius people, these are the type of individuals who are very feisty. These are the type of individuals who always have something to say. If they get mad, if they get angry, they will let their feelings be known, okay? This isn't someone who keeps it to themselves. You know, there may be one or two uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leos out there who can keep their feelings to themselves, but most of the time, most of the time, these people, they will let you know what they're thinking, okay? And so, they'll let you know when they're happy, but they'll definitely let you know when they're mad. And this is someone who will defend themselves no matter what. And so, I am getting this idea that maybe your boss is, is a little intimidated by you. They might not say things to you a whole lot because of the fact that they're afraid of what you might say back to them. Maybe your boss is just very like light, um, just very soft mannered. Maybe this isn't someone who likes to have a lot of, what's the word? <sighs> they just don't like to argue a lot, okay? They don't like they don't like having that tension at work and so they would rather keep those things to themselves rather than tell you what they're actually thinking because they don't want to start a fight with you. So yeah, I'm definitely getting the idea that maybe every once in a while you might do something that they don't really like, but, and I'm talking about behavioral rise, but instead of telling you and like confronting you about it in a professional way, of course, instead they decide to keep it to themselves. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing so far. We have the King of Cups coming through. We also have the Knight of Swords. That makes a lot of sense. And then last but not least, we have the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords coming through and the Knight of Swords, this is making me think of someone who is very restless. This is someone who doesn't really want to sit down a lot. They get kind of antsy. And so, yeah, I just think that your boss, they see you as someone who is like this. It's almost like you always have ants in your pants because you can't sit down for long periods of time at all. So if you guys work in an office, you could be someone who doesn't like to sit at their chair or wherever it is that you need to be working at. Maybe you don't like to sit down for a long time. You are someone who will constantly find a reason to get up and like walk around the office or go to the bathroom or go into like the back corners and get on your phone. I'm not gonna lie you guys. I think that for a lot of you guys, you may have some behavioral problems. You may be someone that is a bit of a chatty Cathy. You could be someone that would rather play than work. <laughs> now, if you don't feel like that, that is completely fine. This may not be the reading for you. If this isn't resonating, that is okay, all right? Maybe your reading just doesn't happen to be, in, like maybe your group doesn't happen to be in this reading today because again, I'm reading for so many people. So yeah, this may not be the right group for you, but if you can resonate with this, <laughs> if you feel like, yeah, this is definitely me, uh, then yeah, you're at the right reading. So <laughs> this is what your boss wants to say to you. Like, I think that they just want to go up to you and tell you what is on their mind. They want to confront you. Like, they want to say like, hey, you know, I see you getting up and walking around a lot. I see you maybe not being as attentive to your work because you are on your phone or you're talking to your friends here, you need to listen to me and you need to stop, okay? You need to put a, a little stopper on it, okay? <laughs> but again, they don't say these things because this is someone who likes to keep the peace. They don't want to start any ripples, okay? The reason why I'm saying that is because we have the King of Cups and this makes me think about someone who's very cool, very calm. They're on a boat and there's not a lot of like crazy waves going on, right? You see this guy holding this boat. It's almost like he wants to keep the boat steady. He doesn't want the boat to get caught in the waves. And so, yeah, he would, your boss, he or she, or they or them, they would rather keep it to themselves, keep their feelings to themselves, than say something to you about this because they know that if they go after the lion, they will get bit, okay? They will they will hear the lion roar, and you are said lion, okay? I mean, I'm thinking about that because literally right here, this kind of looks like a lion-like creature that's tattooed on this guy's chest. I don't think that is actually a lion. I think it's like some type of mythical creature or something, but yeah, 
I just think that they see you as that lion. I just feel very drawn to that lion. But then, like, underneath, like, that guy's chest, I don't know if you can see it. Underneath that tattoo, there's another tattoo of these two people going at it. This person has, like, a baton, and they're about to, like, hit them with it. And so, yeah, um, that is just kind of the energy and the light that they see you in. They see you as someone who... Uh, it's just very passionate. You're a very passionate individual. You're very restless. You don't keep things to yourself. You will say what it, whatever is on your mind. And they just don't want to mess with that fire because they don't want to get burned, okay? So let's see what else wants to come through here. Let's see what else wants to come through here. For group, for group three, can we get some messages, please? What does their boss want to say to them, but they just decide to keep it to themselves? Can we get some extra messages, please, for group three? Thank you. Let's get one more card here. For group three, what does their boss want to say about them? Okay, but they decide to keep it to themselves. Okay. So this is interesting. I was actually picking up on this energy earlier, but I didn't feel like it actually went with this whole vibe of this reading, so I decided to keep it to myself. But it's coming back, like it doesn't want to be ignored, so I shall talk about it. Okay, Spirit, I'm listening. So, we have right here, on this guy's chest, there is a tattoo right here, and it says love. Can y'all see that? It says love. Now right here, we have attraction coming through. So guys, this reading is getting a bit interesting. I think that your boss might be a little bit attracted to you. And that could be another reason why they may not want to say something to you, why they may not want to get on to you, because they find you to be kind of attractive. They find you to be kind of cute. And they don't want to get on your bad side because... They just, they like you. They think you're cute and they want you to like them back, okay? So they don't want to get you angry. Um, so that's very interesting. I want to go ahead and just clarify that. Spirit, can you clarify this? Does group three's boss, do they find them attractive? Can we get some messages here? How do they feel about them? Can we get some messages, please? Let's just clarify this. One or two cards, please. One or two cards. One or two cards. Guys, I feel like this deck is being very quiet now. Now that I need them to, to, now that I'm very interested to hear what, what it has to say, it's being a bit quiet on me. Let's grab that one. Okay. So. Ooh. Yeah. We have the Nine of Cups coming through. I love that. And we have the King of Swords. So look, look at this King of Swords. This person, this woman, this beautiful woman is literally like lit up. She has this really like, she has these lights like wrapped around her dress. And so I feel like whenever you walk into a room, it's almost like you are wrapped in lights. You might as well be. And it's like all the lights are turned out and you walk in and you're just lit up. So that is the type of energy that you have in your boss's eyes. I think that you are someone who, wherever you go, they just can't stop looking at you. They are very attracted to you, group three. And I think that even if they are a little intimidated by your feistiness, by your sassiness, they also really like it as well. They find it to be quite attractive. They like themselves a sassy person. And so yeah, you definitely fit the bill. You're very sassy and they really like that quality about you, even though they do get intimidated by it at times. We also have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, this is literally the card of wishes coming true. This is the card of being a bit hedonistic as well. Really, really listening to your inner desires and letting it loose. And so I think that they do see you as someone who again is like a lion. They see you as this like sexy sphinx, this wild animal, and they feel like in bed especially that you would be 
a wild cat and so yeah they're very attracted to you sexually physically and you are just like a desire of theirs you are a wish to them they wish that they almost wish that they weren't your boss so that they could date you so that they could get physical with you and ask you out on a date so that's very interesting and what's funny is like I was saying with the six of swords this talks about restlessness this honestly talks about like I mean you can see this this girl here she is going over this island right she's going over this island on a cloud and she has one of those uh, what's that called I can't for the life of me I can't remember what that's called oh my gosh that's, that's gonna bother me <laughs> guys I'm so sorry I need to take my memory tea <laughs> My memory tea is a uh, it's rosemary tea by the way that actually helps with your memory. But yeah, she just she has that thing there. That anchor. That's what it is. She has an anchor and she's trying to decide where she's going to put that anchor. And so this makes me think that your boss I think they want you to uh, they want you to quit honestly. I think they honestly want you to quit. I think that they want to tell you that you're fired because they want to fire you and then they want to date you. They want to ask you out on a date. But again, it's almost like they know they can't do that. Like obviously that's not right. That's not appropriate. And so with the ghost card coming through, I feel like they are haunted by the fact that they can't they can't have anything with you. They can't tell you, like, hey, you need to quit because I want to date you. Like, they can't do that. And so they're haunted by the fact that it's almost like they just can't have anything with you. They can't have anything with you, and they wish that they could, and it, it just sucks that they can't. And so, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, they just want to tell you that on one hand, they want to tell you that you're bad, that you're a very bad employee in the way that you misbehave a lot and you're not doing what you should be say what you should be doing. But then on the other hand, they want to tell you how hot you are, how attractive you are, and they also want to just fire you. They want to fire you on the spot so they can freaking date you. They want to tell you how much they like you, how you're so awesome to them. They love your your fiery will, your fiery temperament, and yet they're haunted by the fact that they can't say all these things to you. They can't fire you and tell you the truth. Like, that's just not ethical. They can't do that. So they decide to keep it to themselves. And this is honestly kind of funny. We have the father card coming through, and I feel like your person, they feel like because they're your boss, when I say your person, I'm sorry, I mean your boss. I feel like your boss, they feel like because they're your boss, because they're in this like role of being a higher authority, it's almost like they feel like they are in this like fatherly energy around you. And I think that they absolutely hate it because they don't want you to look at them as like a parent. They don't like that at all. And so they wish that they could tell you like, hey, I like you. I like you a lot. I don't want you to see me like that. I don't want you to see me in any other way instead of you know you seeing me in a hot light does that make sense they they wish that they could tell you that they like you and that they want you to like them too and yet they just feel like they're in this role that they can't really get out of they're in this role of being a leader of being almost like a parental figure because they're the ones that tell people what to do just like a father would tell their kids what to do a mother would tell their kids what to do so yeah they just feel like they can't really, their hands are tied and they can't really do anything about their feelings for you and that just kind of sucks to them. So yes you guys, that is what I am seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day friends. Mwah. Bye guys.